Well, how about this for a contrast? Back oh, 20, 30 years ago, it was a beer and a cigarette at half-time, or maybe not quite, but uh, look at these days, the modern players over the uh, laptop at half-time. How times have changed in our great game of Australian rules football. It is half-time in this rivalry round match between North Melbourne and Hawthorne, and it is the Kangas by two points at the main break. A man who started like a house on fire for the Hawks was Stuart Jew, averaging over 20 disposals in his first two games for his new club, and then snap. Yeah. Late in the second game. How, how bad is your hamstring injury, Stu? It's actually not too bad. At the, at the time, I wasn't sure if it was hamstring or cramp, and I sort of gave it a bit of a stretch. We're going to have a look at this in the moment. And I thought, well, it's definitely not cramp, so I came off, and but it seems to have settled all right. So I think, um, as you see here, I tried to kick it 90. That's probably what I get. <laughs> but um, it didn't actually, I wasn't sure. I just checked there for cramp, no cramp, so off I came. You must have been happy with your form. You've really started well. It's been a tough pre season for you. Oh, it's been, it's been a great pre season, a really good mixing with the group. Um, been fantastic settling in the club. They've really helped me out on the field. I think um, our good forms obviously made it easy to come back into the side. What's it like playing? Uh, you're only 28. Uh, you must feel like an old man in this team, though, because they're so young. Yeah, I know. There's uh, Croft and I think uh, Trig Crow, then myself. So um, our, our oldest is probably about 19 out there today, which is great signs for the club because you know we've got a really good future with two wins. We've just worked our way back into this game after a poor start, so it's good. Uh, what are the differences between the two clubs? Because there is a fair Port Adelaide influence now, of course, in the Hawthorne lineup. But, but how have you seen the culture between the two clubs, and what's it like? Uh, very similar. I think uh, you know the, the, the way they really make you feel like you, you have to earn to win the, wear the Guernsey, the responsibility behind it. So Port Adelaide very strong on that, and also Hawthorne have been the same. And and also the you know the. The passion of the supporters are very similar. I think uh, you know every club's got great supporters. Port are the same, and Hawks have uh, been fantastic so far. Must seem like a lifetime ago, almost, does it? That day. Yeah, it's a long time, and I think I think it's uh, the way football goes. One of those things you sort of look back on when you finish. But as we sit now, um, you know, anyone's game towards the end of the year. Uh, what about the next three or four weeks? What's what's planned for you? Because I guess you're going to be restricted in running. Uh, yeah, back running already, which oh, is yeah, good. Okay. So, um, yeah, it really did settle down. Um, positive results with the scan. So um, just be a lot of lot of running. <laughs> a lot of running coming up. And how far do you think this team is away? I mean, there's a big hype at the moment uh, after the first two wins. Uh, uh, is a premiership a possibility this year or are you still looking at the bigger picture? Oh, I think, I think most sides... Uh, you know, in it to out, win it? In it yeah. to win it, for sure. And... Um, like I said, I think an important side that wins flags. They've got good depth, good pressure coming up. They're in a good position. We've got some quality players playing Box Hill uh, tomorrow on the weekend. And that's all you can do. I mean, three rounds in, it's pretty hard to gauge. I think uh, yeah. start to talk a little bit more about uh, setting goals above when you get to uh, the end of the season. We have a look at the Hawthorne membership number. It's a record uh, membership number, which is great. You were at you barrack for Hawthorne as a kid. Who were your heroes? Yeah, John Platten was my hero and uh, Big Dipper. So uh, it's, it's a bit surreal. You, you get around the club and you run into these guys that you used to idolise. But membership's been fantastic. We've got a new record and... Really hoping to push towards 35,000 in the next couple of weeks. Yep, so get in touch with the club via phone or the internet and uh, you'll be able to buy yourself a membership ticket. Uh, how have you seen the first half? It looked a dire straight there at one stage, but the game can change so quickly now, can't it? Oh, it certainly does. Not a good start by the boys. They'll be first to recognise that. Uh, I think the key was just play it a little bit stagnant and see them take a few more risks and just take the game on a little bit more. I think we've got to back ourselves and... It's lucky we got back in the game because had North kicked straight, we'd probably... Uh, Could have been out of it. Probably out of it. I think they were really all over us, but quality of the side. You know, a couple of guns up forward. Lance, Ruffy, a couple of good goals, and Michael Osborne's had a great start to the year. Well, thanks for your time. Good luck. Hopefully we'll see you in less than a month. Yeah, looking forward to it. Stuart Jew. Half-time, North Melbourne leads the Hawks by two points.